guys, Hunter from Theme Park Hunting here and Marina. And today we are here at IAPA Expo here in 2022. We've got our press badges, we're all set up for the day. And today is a big day. It's day one, which means we have all the announcements today coming from Dollywood with Big Bear Mountain, SeaWorld with the Surf Coaster and all their coasters, RMC's reveal with Wildcats Revenge, and we have a ton of stuff to cover. But it's also Marina's first ever IAPA. So this is my 13th and her first. So uh, what, are you, what are you just thinking? Just, we're on the floor right now. And it, just, it doesn't feel real. Like there's so much stuff. It's overwhelming like in the best way. It doesn't feel real at all. It's, I've been wanting to come forever. It's, not, it's so, so strange. But like, I'm so excited. It's going to be good. And you know here at IAPA, it, it's impossible to cover everything. <laughs> we're also here with the one and only Gavin Waple. Gavin Waple. What's up thrills. guys? Fistful of thrills. <laughs> Are you excited for IAPA, Gavin Waple? Oh, I'm very excited for IAPA. My first IAPA as well. Excited to see all the announcements, just meet as many people as possible, see everything we got here. That's good. You ready to do this, Hunter? Oh, I'm so ready. Let's do it. And obviously, you know we're going to cover this even more on the new and improved On the Hunt, so we got it ready. We got to find Scott somewhere. He's he's here. He's, just, he's Scott. But yeah, we're going to have a good day. So let's go up to the first announcement for SeaWorld and the Surf Coaster. So without further ado, and definitely our, our, our floor here is ready. We are excited to provide you with a first look, a reveal of this new, amazing, next generation vehicle for the world's first surf coaster. So if our friends on the IAPA floor are ready and our Facebook Live fans are ready, let's take a look at the right vehicle for Pipeline the Surf Coaster. Sophie, are you ready? Let's do a countdown. You guys ready? Yeah. So five, four, three, Right, we just got to take a look at the and new surf coaster with Pipeline coming to SeaWorld Orlando. Obviously, home park. I'm excited for Pipeline. I'm, I'm really, I love stand ups. I think it's going to be a phenomenal addition to the park. And seeing that train, it looks even better than I could ever imagine. It looks super smooth, super sleek, super clean. I love the design of the surfboard. I think that thing's going to be something really special. Now, it's time to head over to Vacoma and we're going to go see uh, Big Bear Mountain. Let's go check that out. Right, Big Bear Mountain, we just got to check out Vacoma's latest and greatest creation. Uh, as we saw, I went up to Dollywood, got to see Big Bear Mountain, and it looked really good for what they've already started, and they are building it up fast. And the train looks really good, the details on it look really nice and really comfortable. And we got to see the POV finally for it, and this thing is long, it looks action packed from start to finish. It, it looks like one of the best family coasters in the world for when it opens. I'm excited for it. What y'all think? Okay, I guess I'll go first. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a solid addition to Dollywood. They already have a couple family coasters here and there, but I think this one's going to be good because, you know, it's a multi-launch. It's different from Fire Chaser Express, or current one. And, you know, I feel it's going to fill in that plot of land really well. Great, how about you? Yeah, um, I'm really hyped. It looks very pretty. Um, I think it'll help balance out, like, the kind of coasters they have. So, like, I'm, I don't know. I'm really excited for it. I think we still got to get her up to Dollywood, which is good. I know. Yeah. So, I know, you missed it by two minutes. That's days. a crime. <laughs> yeah, you did. That's yeah. your fault. All right, next up, uh, it is time to head over to Intamin to go check out uh, their new designs for Dark Coaster and a train reveal for Arctic Rescue over at Cyril San Diego. So we got to go check that out next. So let's head over there.
ladies and gentlemen, Arctic Rescue! This family-friendly multi-launch ride invites guests to hop on a snowmobile and launch it up to 40 miles an hour as they race through the simulated SeaWorld Rescue. All right, so we just got to see Intamin talk about three new rides going to SeaWorld. So we saw Dark Coaster, Catapult Falls, and Arctic Rescue. So Arctic Rescue, I think, looks really good for the park. I think it's going to be a nice little family ride. and. Uh, it looks like one of the better launch coasters that they have, like with the family motorbike design. The train looks pretty cool, it looks pretty basic like all the other ones, but it still looks really nice. So that one's cool. Dark Coaster, they just showed the same teaser, same with Catapult Falls. But um, Dark Coaster I think looks okay, I, I don't really know how to feel about it, but Catapult Falls I actually think is probably the most anticipated out of the three. That one looks really good, really promising, and a lot of fun in general. So, And it's like the most unique one out. What do you think, Apple? Oh yeah, I would have to agree with you, Hunter. Uh, Catapult Falls really stole the show for me. That one just looks so unique because it's that launch log flume design, yep. and we really haven't seen things like that much before. So, I, and honestly, yeah, I, I, honestly, that's it. I would say that's just the one that I'm most anticipated for. Agreed. Marina. Okay. Um, yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Out of the three, I'm most excited for Catapult Falls. Um, the rest look cool, Dark Coaster, I'm bummed because I love Dark Castle, but it still looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm hyped to see how they hold up. Hopefully they open on time. That's going to be the real test of time with SeaWorld, so yeah. So now, um, let's head over. I, I don't know what we have next. I'll check the schedule, but I think it's uh, Cedar Point and Perla and all that stuff. So let's go. Okay, so we're about to check out this thing called the Vortex Dream Tunnel. Last year was hugely popular, and I didn't get to do it. So we're gonna check it out this year and see what it's all about. So, uh, and they're even just front of line access. Like, so this is so let's let's go check this out. Welcome to the Vortex Dream Tunnel, the world's first fully immersive aquatic attraction. Combining the power of water with cutting edge technology, guests are transported to a dreamlike world where no two rides are the same. <laughs> Alright, just gotta look at the Vortex Dream Tunnel and that was really cool. I had a really long line last year so I didn't get to do it, but this year I gotta try it. And yeah, it was really cool seeing all different things and the way they had it all set up was beautiful. I mean, it just looked really impressive. So now, it is time to go over to the Intimate booth. So, let's head on over, let's go. So we got two Zamperla announcements back to back to back. We saw Lightning and the new LSM train design. It looks really cool. It looks very similar to Intamin's, but enough little differences to where it's not a complete copy. 
I think there's a lot of promising with that, obviously with the main rumor with that could be what's happening in Top Row Dragster. I'm not completely complaining, but I still think it's a bit odd. We'll have to see. And then we got to see Cedar Point's Wild Mouse in Sam... Yeah. That's all I have to say with that one. Yeah, I really like that new LSM train they have going on. The colors look awesome yes. as well. That's like the main thing I noticed. It looks very similar to a train like Velocicoasters. I agree. It's been like you mentioned prior, but yeah, I feel like it has enough differences. And like they were saying as well, for the park side of things, it's going to be way easier to maintain because it seems a lot more modular design. Yeah. And it uses less, ex less expensive and hard to work with materials. So yep. yeah, I feel like it's going to be a good fit for parks. I agree. Yeah, uh, I really hype for the future of the company. I think they're heading in a really good, like, really good direction. Um, I'm really excited to see what they do. The train looks dope. Cedar Point one looks um, cheesy. We have shared Gillista on the hunt. We share our thoughts on that Wild Mouse. But yeah, uh, next up uh, we have RMC for Wildcats Revenge. I'm excited for that. Let's go see that one. said I'm gonna go to Hershey uh denied it no nah, yeah no nah, I'm definitely going to Hershey no sure. you gotta go I it's been about 10 years since I've been so I'm going back you gotta change that Reno what do you think Reno when did you go to Hershey I went last summer what'd you think I tried to squeeze Hershey and Dorney into a day so um didn't you say you like white bad. lightning more than sky rush yes I did say that okay that's a crime okay uh, next up, it's time to go see what Premier Rides has with their legacy attraction thing. I love Premier, so I'm excited. Let's go. Let's do it. It's literally the All right, well, Premier announced that they are reviving the Schwarzkopf Wildcat, but we don't know we don't know much about it, but that's all we know. So, potential. I think it sounds pretty cool, but being honest, not what I expected. So, yeah. But yeah, let's go uh, Let's go see what GCI has for the last announcement of the day with Sam Beasley Singer. Let's go check that out. And I think we are ready to just take this off and show them. Let's do it. You ready? All right, let's count them down. Three, two, one. All right, Zambezi Zinger just got announced from GCI. I'm honestly, I like the design a lot. I think it looks really cool seeing the Infinity Flyer train, the Zambezi Zinger cover. I think it looks absolutely incredible. I'm excited for it. I think it, it's going to be really, really good. So yeah, let's go do some of the rides here now. Let's go check out all of those. Oh. <laughs> 
Just did the SPF Visa Spinner credit this year. It's called Girls of Fun. Uh, what's nice is it's always a new credit because they always get it and then they sell it to another park and they bring it there. So, new credit. But yeah, it was fun. It's a standard SPF spinner. It doesn't have the hamster wheel, so I'm sad. You like the spinners, Waple? Spinners are fun. You like spinners, Marina? What? Do you like the spinner? Oh, yeah, it's really fun. Good. Yeah. All right, we're going to try this weird plain flippy thing. I'm looking at it and it looks scary. I want to do it. scary I like flipping yeah flipping was fun and the up and down was cool and everything I liked it it was just terrifying like oh I love it yeah it was like really fun slow yeah. I love hang time though and that is great I hate hang time. you haven't been on hang I love time. It. yeah I could have went on hang time I just did it why didn't you <laughs> because everything else in knots was closed except that and I was like nah I'm not bothering wow you should have gone no I, I don't care all right drop tower oh okay that's that's a weird, it like drops enough to just give you that stomach dropping feeling. It's fun though. It was so fun. It was long, relaxing, dropped a bit. It was good. It's so bouncy. Wait. Love Wrong way. There we go. Oh, I we got a gimbal today and it's struggling, but there we go. Was it it's not that easy. Um, it's really bouncy. I loved it. It was fun. Yeah. No, seriously. That was like a bounce house. No, it was really good. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I remember doing this one last year. That wasn't a thing. Let's try it again. We just did this wipeout thing. What? I felt like I was doing cartwheels. It's really fun. Gavin yeah, Wable. <laughs> there it is. You like it? I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, it. I just don't like how you're against the restraint the whole time, and it feels very uncomfortable. It's a decent. It looks cool. It doesn't ride well. Here we go. Big the show floor really is. Like this thing is huge. 
forgot how fun that ride was. It looks so cool, and it, the little floater at the top is actually really thrilling and fun. What'd y'all think? Oh, yeah, that was awesome. It was a lot of fun. It felt like more intense than I thought it would be. It's cute. I liked it a lot. All right. They had this thing last year and they made it bigger. Let's do it. So this is hammered. It's one of these mini drop towers. Okay. But this one, oh. it's a bit more intense than the others. And it has different high shots. And oh, right now, we're doing number eight, chaos. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so we just did that weird drop tower thingy called yeah, Hammer. That was, yeah, that was amazing. That's easily the best ride yet they have here. The drops are so intense for no reason. What do you guys think of that weird thing? Playful. What up? What do you think of that weird thing? That was one of the greatest experiences I've ever had in my entire life. Yep. That thing. That's saying something. <laughs> oh, I know it is. Marina? It's so brutal. I loved it. Exactly. Oh, I would agree. Exactly. And you let us go twice. True. Yeah, you let us go twice. Uh, that ride cycle that you suggested, yeah. I love the final two drops on it. Yes. You're literally out of your seat for like it a does good like a second. big. It does like bounciness and then it launches up to the top and drops and does a hold at the top and nah, it's really good. But that's going to do it here for day one of IAPA Expo here. And we have even more to cover in day two. We're going to check out the food. We're going to do the rest of the rides. We're going to do it all. So, uh, yeah, that's it for day one, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget, as always, to follow the thrill.